Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is Wednesday, December the 8th. Thank you, Sue. And it is time for the weekly Knowledge Bull Eyed Hangout brought to you by Toperspin Meteorites. And we are super excited to welcome our special guest next week. We're having Dr. Ed Liu. He's from the B612 Foundation, and they basically map the uh, inner solar system so we can track near-Earth objects. That's just one of the things they do in addition to uh, organizing the Asteroid Day uh, events around the globe. You also see that he's been uh, active in his employment there with, with positions at the High Altitude Observatory and the Institute for Astronomy at Google. While he was at Google, he also worked on the uh, Earth, Google Earth and Google Maps. As you know, he also spent 206 days in space and did a six hour spacewalk to help build the International Space Station. Boom, boom, wow. and one more for good measure, folks. <laughs> nice. Check this out. This is the one over China, correct? You are correct, Chris. That was my next question. <laughs> God, that is remarkable. Diagonite? It is a diagonite. Mr. Chris Monk rocks on the ground, strikes again. Oh, it's, like, it's a beautiful diagonite. Do we know what the name of it is? Toddling? Toddling, it looks like. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry. I couldn't understand or hear you in the background, but yep. This is a little over eight grams of Tatooine, about 8.4 grams of Tatooine. It's a diagonite and one of the, I think one of the 12 witness diagenetic falls. This is NWA 13064. And reading the Met Bull description, it describes it as a brecciated eucrite with no fusion crust. But then hmm. I was looking through my pieces. Wow. <laughs> and yeah wow yeah really really glassy fusion crust beautiful mm -hmm. on a couple of pieces wow. yeah man very nice <laughs> high metal impact melt mm -hmm. end cut this was the 700 and you know, 800 gram stone that you guys saw a few weeks ago it's covered, not, not this exact one, but the material has these uh, metal beads. Here's, here's the melt slice. You can definitely see rivers of melt in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. You know, I really enjoy this because when you look at it from this angle, the melt looks light gray and the black stones in the middle just look speckled right there. Oh, yeah. What? What caught our attention is, do you see the texture inside that bead? Yeah, it almost likes woodman statin. So I wanted to show this off. This is a, a new acquisition. This is a coarse grained Uralite sample of Omahata Sitta. You know, when I first learned about it, I was, I was just captivated by the idea of, you know, seeing, seeing an asteroid in space and then actually <laughs> tracking it all the way to the ground. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. And the yeah. fact that it, it exploded like 30 kilometers up. So there was no certainty that there were rocks on the ground. And indeed, like most of the most of the pieces found were pretty small. This is a piece of Escal. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to show this off. This is one I hang on my wall. But so here's what it looks like on the wall unlit. But what I wanted to show you is this. And three, two, one. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is 38 yep. grams. That's why I set the bar really high. So <laughs> well, right. I want to see some good stuff tonight. One other also special thing about this, Ron. Tell us, you made this yourself, didn't you? And I actually put a video out on how, how to make this so a year or so ago, two years ago, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, just a beautiful piece. That is our resident geologist, Mike Kelly. Uh, with our weekly uh, check-in of science with Meteorite 101. Today, we're talking <laughs> about uh, palisites, and we're going to take a look at that, Eskel, closer later. But first, let's get into the science of it. And so the, the palisites are named after Peter Palis, who was a, a Russian scientist who studied the first ever uh, palisite, which was Krasnoyarsk. So we talk about the, uh, the formation theory a bunch, uh, and we usually reference the old school theory 
uh, which is, you know, palisites are core mantle boundary material, which they are, um, you know, and it's, it's a good theory, but it kind of lacks a major component uh, that we often don't talk about, which is that it's, uh, it's, it's not going to mix the way you would really see it in a palisite with, uh, without some things going on. And what exactly those things that are going on uh, are is uh, up for debate. So looking at the compositions, uh, like I mentioned, you know, the, the two major things you have in there as constituents are, are olivine uh, and iron nickel metal, um, which we're used to seeing from, from the regular irons. Um, so minor constituents, you get uh, chromite, some different sulfides, some phosphides, some phosphates, and rarely y'all even get uh, phosphorin olivine. So that's olivine that has a little bit of higher uh, uh, phosphorus content in it, uh, a couple percentage, not, not too much. We mentioned that uh, Krasnoyarsk was the, uh, the first palisite out there, but not only was it one of the first palisites, what's really cool is it's one of the two original meteorites that uh, was studied in order to um, identify Thompson structure slash uh, woods matten pattern. Uh, palisites, so if it's just as palisite, it hasn't been dropped into one of the three groupings. Uh, there are 68 of those in Metbull. Um, the majority of the palisites fall into what they call the, the main group palisites, and again, kind of uh, just a descriptor that says that's the bulk of what we know out there. Now, looking at those, they all have uh, a similar isotopic uh, ratio of, of oxygen, uh, triple oxygen ratio. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> We're so it. serious. <laughs> We're so serious all the time. Oh dear, yeah. No, so this is one of the spring water pieces I bought off of uh, Topher here in October from the meteorite sale. And spring water holds a special part in my heart, so to speak, because it's from Canada, but it's also Canada's first and only uh, palisite. This piece here is cool because you can see what a palisite looks like before we cut it into its pretty slices. Wow. <laughs> There's not, not very many um, individual spring waters they're not readily available i should say That's yeah this nice. one's cool because it's gnarly and then simchen i mean that that one's cool because originally it was classed as a 2e because the samples that were originally discovered back in um 67 were were not palisitic in nature and it wasn't until um 2004 when another sample was discovered that 20 percent of it was found to be containing olivine crystals so it was reclassed in 2007 oh, sir, that that one um so a, a single piece uh 427 gram specimen uh with yellow brown olivine um was found in 2019 uh 20 kilometers uh found 20 kilometers west of a southern morocco and there's good old admire found with a plow <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, fireman, it's got beautiful olivine crystals. As well, ninety point eight grams. That's nice. That's a big mm. one. <laughs> yeah. And this is the actual specimen from Robert Higgs catalog from the nineteen nineties. What an honor. Yeah. Imalac, fifty nine point nine grams. This is my very wow. first palisite purchase back in the mid nineteen eighties. In the eighties. Wow. Cerecho palisite, hundred forty six grams. Purchased from Topher Spin Meteorites. Yay! The label <laughs> measures sixty five millimeters by fifty millimeters for scale. This is a a fifty two fifty three gram. Semchen, uh, extremely highly. This is one of this is the highest quality Semchen I have. Topher, the first year he was really into meteorites, like it just took off like insanely. And he got himself a Christmas present. So by the time 2018 rolled around, it had been a year. I figured I'd better buy something really nice. Um, and I had no idea how to go about it. So I actually got some help from Mark Lyon and got this Semchen. I was kind of shocked to see some of the meteorites in Dopers collection. I couldn't believe the size of some of the meteorites he had. NWA thirteen five seventy nine, and uh, that's the official name, I believe. But they also call it the Golden Palisite, and this has angular olivine crystals all the way around it. it I mean. It's awesome to look at. It has a couple of holes. 
my emolet that I got. Very proud of this one. It is 18 grams. Wow. Wow. How many grams is it? 18 grams. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for, thank you for your help. Yeah, my boring. sister's doing the camera work for me right now. Yeah, we love her. Thank you, Rachel. And it's got a couple of power uh, seats in it. To, to oh, it. excellent. Wow. It's got some irons and a couple of power sites. The, the ones that I thought would be rusters and it's got mm -hmm. Desi Kent in it, which I have to replace. It's not been etched, but you can still see different variations in the metal and yeah. some troll light. Classic, had to get a Simchan. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I've got a, a Siderite of Simchan, so it's all just metal. And mm -hmm. then I've got this one, and that's pretty much all I've got for Simchan. Had to get a classic one. So instead of a Mother's Day gift, it became my first meteorite. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Similac. There's um, a huge olivine. Oh, my gosh. And the yeah. one that's missing was probably even prettier. So this is 11.24 grams. And one of the things that really uh, endeared it to me is uh, that my mother grew up in Chile. So uh, mm. I just had to have this. 1,242 grams of cerrito. Mm. Uh, Wow. This is a single stone that's sliced in half. And uh, I'm going to flip it over. Oh, my God. Look oh, at that. Wow. Very nice. That's what it looks like. It still man. smells like the safari we took in Kenya. It smells <laughs> like animals. So tiny little bit of caravano, um, 0.35 grams, of, which is an eagle station. It's really just a, a nice little crystal fragment. This is the reason why I'm letting that one go, because... Oh, um, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Someone has upgraded. Yeah. Uh, and it's yeah. like, I wasn't intending to, but it was like... Uh... So this is a piece of um, Brahim. Oh. from belarus uh found in 1810 nwa 10023 i love this one you have a nice slice of it too buddy again not a slice what <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. twice he's sneaky nice. <laughs> so this is sem chan there you go that's a complete slice, uh, Semchen. Semchen, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's wow. one of the first things that I had ever bought. So this is also a Semchen. That's a beautiful example of what it would look like if there was no olivines at all. Yeah, pretty dramatic etch on that puppy too. You see the transition of the color. It's like you yeah, know, like yeah, dark. halfway halfway up the nose, halfway up the yeah, tip. Yeah, right up, right up here. Yeah, that's dramatic. Yeah. Anyone know what meteorong that is? Shirkovska or something like that. Shirkovsky. Yep, Shirkovsky. Yeah. So again, that uh, look very promisingly like a uh, palisite, but it is in fact a fake. Is it a manufactured fake or a wrong? It is a manufactured fake. So this is one of the nine. This is NWA nineteen eleven. And what's cool about this is. It was tiny. Um, it was only a total of, I think it was like 52 grams. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the one that has uh, an incredibly high amount of pyroxene in there. It's like 40% uh, in there. Yep. Vermilion? Vermilion, yeah. I've yeah. Heard it before, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's one that you very rarely see on the market. Um, and uh, if you see it, scoop it up. It's, it's a definitely awesome uh, pyroxene palisite. Mm -hmm. Uh, these do not belong to me. And these ones belong to a good friend of mine, uh, Derek Yost. But uh, being at the topic was some palisites you don't see all the time. Uh, here are a couple of, of said uh, not too often seen palisites. Uh, so this is Ahamada, uh, and this is a uh, palisite from down in Mexico. Um, and you can see it's got those nice kind of biggish semi-round olivines going on. Uh, this is Thiel Mountain. Beautiful so, size. 
Yes, yeah, so that's a great size piece of Thiel Mountain. Uh, and again, that is from Antarctica. So wow. three and, and a half, half grams slice. Yeah. Uh, this is a great piece that I, uh, I borrowed off of him to, to show Angular. Uh, and this is another rare one. This is Albin. Uh, so this is part of a 86 oh pound um, palisite that was found in Wisconsin. So there's another American palisite for you um, that you, you don't see too often. We, we talked about Majalahari being the um, gold standard for olivines. Because what's neat about this piece of Majalahari oh, is crust? it's actually crust. Oh, yeah jesus wow yeah. and obviously you can see that's quite mirror polished holy oh, yeah. oh. Oh. wow oh. glorietta oh. mountain glorietta oh. mountain from mountain new mexico oh Jeez. Um... hello <laughs> so what's amazing about that is that is a full slice and that is from the 20 kilogram um main mass and wow. that was found by uh steve schooner if it's from the main mask, you obviously don't see pieces that big every day. Like it's unheard of. Look at the size of the olivine at three o'clock. Yeah. It's yeah. giant. Yeah. It just keeps on going. This is a Imalac individual, 161 grams. And oh wow. This is my baby. Yeah. You can literally see the, the fusion crust right there covering that olivine oh, yeah. and one exposed. Beautiful. So that's my Chilean one. This one was actually purchased directly from the owner of the farm. Wow. And I have a letter from him to me about this piece. Yeah, yeah. It, has, it has a great etch on it. Yes. And the angular, Chris, look at that. That You talking about angular, that's a triangle in the middle. Yeah, you know? yeah. NWA 10023 slice. Nice. With multicolored olivines it's kind of wavy i don't know if you can guys see the surface is wavy a little bit mm -hmm. but it is gorgeous i mean oh, yeah this one is brenham oh nice wow so you can see all the olivines and everything on the back side as well that is the original Golden Palisite, yeah. NWA 12186. Mm -hmm. The first one is 28 grams and probably the most beautiful sculptural meteorite that I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at those edges. And there's olivine tucked in everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That is nifty. But cool what, structure in the metal. The metal inclusions in the olivine. Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, down there. <laughs> and up above. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful meteorite. hundred percent translucent. And look at the mm -hmm. all the colors in there. Oh man. <laughs> Why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> you betcha. You betcha. <laughs> the work a deal out this. Hey, we could literally go on all night. Fantastic hangout, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yep.